Hey guys, welcome back to the classroom. My name is Brady, I'll be your host for the evening. And today we're learning some really cool tricks on shooting a rainy night interior and taking your shots from this to this. And it can really all be done with as little as one light. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video or any other videos on my channel, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and share if you please. So I got some inspiration to shoot this low key moody night interior scene and I wanted to take you guys along with me. And we're gonna be talking about a way to get color contrast using some lighting effects and a couple other tricks along the way. So let's go ahead and start with our first light and I guess we're just gonna call it our key. So our motivation for this first light, our key light is gonna be either moonlight or just ambient night room tone, just something dim and cool and soft. So for that, I'm gonna use an Aperture 300D Mark II and I'm gonna bring that to the outdoors and on that, I'm going to put a parabolic softbox. And then with that softbox, I'm also gonna add a grid as well. And what that grid is going to do on top of the softbox is really focus in the light kind of a little bit more forward and direct and keep it from spilling in places that I don't want to because I really want to keep the light focused and central pretty much on Sarah and her face and the curtains a little bit surrounding. So by using the grid, you're gonna add that on top of the diffusion and it's still going to be soft and direct. And on top of that, this light is a daylight balance fixture. So that sets right around 5,600 Kelvin. And since we wanna go for a little bit of a cool moonlit look, I brought my camera's white balance a little bit lower than that down to 3,800. So for a location of this light, because location is really important once you bring it outside, you're not just gonna bring it directly at the window. I brought it a little ways back and then I made sure to still keep it on Sarah's far side, like a little bit past her nose. So then you see when that light comes in and hits her, you see that wrap right around her face. You start to get a little bit of a Rembrandt triangle the wrap around her nose and that nose kind of splits in half giving you that nice contrast as you're shooting into the shadow. It's not gonna completely wash her face out. And check out that catch light in her eye. That's some, that's some good stuff right there. So that's our first light in place. Everything is really coming together and you can really just get by with this one light going for this moonlit look and then follow the steps that we do later on to get the rain look. But I wanted to add another light because I was looking on frame left into that kind of dark abyss and I realized that I wanted to do something to bring up that room tone. And this is where we get really fun and creative while staying on a budget. So I took just an Aperture MC and I matched that to the 300D at right around 5600 Kelvin. And all I did was sit that just on a chair kind of tilted toward the wall, toward the corner, but alone by itself, it looked very saucy. It was filling the room very strong and it just looked like there was a light punching into the corner. So I wanted to add some texture just to break up that uh, light, just to add some contrast to it. So I took a plant and just kind of stuck it in the corner. So then as the light was splashing through the plant, it added some contrast, some shadows, some highlights. And really now this is looking a little bit more like just some moonlight room tone, just something to fill in that back corner. And then I also noticed that the light was spilling pretty heavily on the curtain, um, just over Sarah's shoulder on frame left still, and I didn't like that spill, so all I did was take two books, stood them up right next to the MC just to flag off that light from spilling onto the curtain and then keep it central to just going into that corner. So there's two really budget options to flag off light, to modify light and add some texture to it. But then looking at the frame, I mean, if you wanna go for a monochromatic look, just stick to this cool tone, you're good and set right here, just how you are. But I wanted to go in and add in some color contrast inside to contrast, you know, the warm, cozy inside your cool night outside. So for the third light, I took an Aperture 300X and I used a softbox and a grid as well with that. The grid, again, is just to contain that light source and keep the light from spilling in throughout the room and keep it just as a rim light as we're gonna add onto Sarah. So color temperature for this to contrast at 5600, I left that light at 2700 Kelvin. So now you've got this warm, you've got this cool and the camera's white balance is right sitting in between. And I had this light almost directly behind Sarah as much as I could without it actually jumping into the frame. And with the grid on it, it really kept it isolated to just on her shoulder. And I wanted the night ambience to really be kind of like this driving feeling for the scene. So I didn't want to fill the entire room with this warmth. So by splashing it just kind of directly and straightforward with the softbox and the grid, it was only splashing on Sarah's shoulder, her hairline, a little bit of the curtain, and then the rest of the light in the scene was that 
Moonlight. So we have those three lights in place, but I wanted to do a couple things just to add a little pop, if you will. And to add to that, you know, night, the moody feel, I figured why not add some raindrops to it as if it is just rained or it's still trickling out there. So I don't know if it's a film trick or I learned it from cleaning cars, but I took car wax and just waxed the window before spraying it down. So that way when the rain or water hits the window, it beads up really nicely and adds those little glittery, glimmery beads of water. So that's what I did. I waxed it on, I waxed it off, and then I sprayed it down with water, got those little glimmery little dots on the window. And then one more touch that I wanted to add just because I was feeling crazy, wanted some lightning. Don't know why, I just wanted some lightning. So I took an aperture 120D with the reflector dish and I brought that outside a little bit more on the front side of Sarah. So we're still on camera right outside the window, but it's gonna fill in the shadows on Sarah's face when the lightning pulses in. So I had that at about 15% with just the reflector dish shining in. The balance is the same as the 300D as well. Makes things super easy. And then when the lightning would go off, you'd actually get some really nice dots of rain on Sarah's face. And I was hoping for that to happen. I didn't know if it actually worked. So I'm super happy about that. But just an extra touch, you definitely don't need the lightning, but if you've got some extra lights around, if you wanna add some interest, some spookiness, or just add in some, you know, like visual contrast or interest with the with the additional lighting, go for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of the lights that we added. I would love to know if you like a little bit more of the monochromatic side of things, just sticking on only the cool tones, or if you like adding in the color contrast and the complementary colors into your scene. So leave a comment below, either monochromatic or complementary colors for your personal preference. But that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you found this educational, entertaining, interesting, fill in the blank. Let's start doing that. Fill in a blank of the adjective of what you found this video. Please don't make it boring or lame. Um, but yeah, and if you haven't yet, if you're watching this video before the deadline ends, I have a giveaway going still to win an Aperture MC or a couple other lights that I just put out in my false color video before. So if you're watching this when it's first coming out, go ahead and jump to that video if you have not and sign up for that giveaway. But again, thank you all so much. Have a great rest of your week and class is dismissed.